This is In Touch with Terry, a power packed podcast for the medical aesthetics industry. I just discovered your podcast and I feel like I've hit a gold mine. This is someone who's got a lot of knowledge. She's been there, done that. Terry Ross is a former Fortune 500 executive, international speaker, founder and co CEO of Apex Platform, and Terry Ross Consulting. Just listening to her energy and her passion and just how hardcore she is. Her knowledge of the industry and just her connections in general are phenomenal. In Touch with Terry will bring you solutions to increase operational and employee efficiency and practice profitability. Plus, feature some of the top industry experts as guests. The Apex team literally changed the game for us. Terry, your courses and your podcast are just so helpful. She made me feel like I could do this. Three, two, one. Here we go. Now, here's Terry. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of In Touch with Terry. How are you guys? So grateful to be here with you as always. So thanks for showing up and being present and always staying with me. Today's podcast is to talk about how to eliminate the overwhelm when starting or considering starting a medical aesthetic practice. So if this is you, if you are thinking about expanding, thinking about a brick and mortar, if you're planning to open up a new medical aesthetic practice in the next 12 to 24 months, then you are definitely not going to want to miss this episode. I'm going to get down and dirty and give you the 411 on what you need to know to successfully start up a new medical aesthetic practice. So whether you are considering it, you're struggling with where to start, you feel frustrated or overwhelmed, you're unsure of the startup costs, you're questioning yourself about what services, location, space, I mean, I'm going to go on and on. We are going to get down and dirty on all of those things today. So if that's you, you have a desire, you want to get out of the hospital, it's not making money, you're just sort of bored or you want something different, or you've always had a passion to get into the aesthetic space, you are probably asking yourself, these several questions. These are the same questions we get asked over and over and over and over again. And or people come and hire us and want to work with us after they have made grave mistakes. I don't want that for you. Okay. So here's some questions I'm going to ask you and I want you to consider. Is your concept feasible? What are the right services and treatments you want to offer and should offer? How do you know that they are going to yield a profit or a return on investment? Or is it going to make you lose money? How much capital are you going to need? How do I figure out how much money my startup costs are going to be? This is crazy, you guys. We're going to talk about our program that we have. But the reason we did this is because there are people that kind of show up on these calls or talk to us and sadly, they just really don't have any idea. And I know that Alex talks about the average startup cost, and we're going to get into that a little bit later in this episode. But there's sometimes people are like, hey, I have 20,000, or they just really don't even know. Now, listen, there's going to be a different range, different prices, you know, different strokes for different folks, depending on what you want to do and what you want to be and how much you want to spend. But there is an average, and I want you guys to go in with eyes wide open to feel, again, empowered with the ability to know this isn't just I'm talented or I can learn the skill and I'm going to get a brick and mortar and the people will come. And then we sacrifice everything around us because there is a particular ecosystem and the ecosystem is for a reason. You have the business fundamentals and that's what Apex Platform provides, our six-month program. But then you have all of the things that you need around it, right? Your digital marketing, your website, your social media, your branding, your services, your training, your coaching, your POS systems, your software. That is a whole lot of shit. I mean, it's overwhelming for me sometimes. (laughs) We've just been doing it for a long time. So I'm going to continue on. How much space am I going to need? I'm in such a competitive marketplace. Where should I be? Do I need a performa? Three year, five year? How do I write a business plan? Please don't down one on the internet. Please don't do that. But you do need a business plan and you do need a performa to go to the bank if you need to get a loan, but then you have to know how much it's going to cost. How do I negotiate my loan and my lease? How do I find the right architect or designer or contractor? How do I hire the right team? How do I compensate the team? What is the flow and the efficiency of starting a new practice? What kind of software do I need to get? Who do I get for social media? 
Who does my branding? And is it important? There are so many things and we're so passionate about you guys doing it right, saving time and money. There are three stages or phases when you want to launch a medical aesthetic practice. And number one involves your vision, your mission, your feasibility study, your startup cost, your performa. And we have to complete a competitive analysis for you so that you can understand your target demographics, right? Research your build out, your startup costs, determine your revenue per hour, your labor costs, your rent, your marketing, your budget, your administrative costs, your forecast. I mean, sometimes it overwhelms me just to talk about it. So if this is you, that's phase one. Phase two, creating your business plan and your loan procurement. So how do I develop my business plan? How do I navigate through the loan application process? How do I hire a commercial broker? How do I negotiate my lease? What's my letter of intent? What's the role of your project manager or your architect? What's the criteria for the selection of the space that you want? How do I create and build out a timeline? What about my general contractor selecting one? What should they be skilled and required to do? The bidding process or war your construction oversight. A lot. That is stage or phase two. Stage in phase three is implementation to launch. This is where it gets fun, right? Looking at your marketing, your pre-launch planning and execution, looking at what systems you're going to be choosing and selecting, your EMR system, your practice management, your business solutions. What are your communication goals, your phone system, your equipment, your supplies? human resources, recruiting, onboarding, your external systems, your clinical SOPs and operations, your legal structure, your regulatory, your OSHA, your vendor training, staff orientation. And then the big one, the fun one is always planning to launch your big event when the doors are opening. That's so fun. Whoo, that was a lot. Okay, those were the three stages of starting up a business. And then within those stages are a whole host of things that are required to be done to do it right. So we all know there's no time to waste. There's no free money that we're just sort of like throwing out the window. Money's certainly not growing on trees. And if we know we're getting into an environment that is growing exponentially, patients still want these treatments, although we're still, again, surrounded by a sea of competition, ask yourself, can you afford to make mistakes along the way? Can you afford to hire someone that's not the right person? Can you afford to lose money? I would say no. And again, we've been so humbled to work with so many people and get so many great testimonial videos. And several of them have made bad choices. And we don't want that for you. So I know it can seem overwhelming, but it does not have to be. So back by popular demand, we're super excited. We are going on our fourth program, our fourth class within our Apex platform, which is our Startup Medical Aesthetic Practice six-month program. So this is for you guys. This is anybody who's considering opening up within 12 to 24 months. So if this is you and you don't want to waste time and money and you want to work with experts who have opened up more than 100 practices across the country, more than 100, this is an opportunity that you are going to want to take advantage of. Our team, they are amazing. We're going to age ourselves, but combined, God, we have well over, I don't know, 50 plus years of experience and knowledge in the space that we're going to simplify it all for you, walk you through, teach you over the six-month program and give you the exact blueprint you need to take the guesswork out of anything at a fraction of the cost of what people used to pay us at Terry Ross Consulting, a fraction of the cost for you to have your dream, for you to have your doors open, for you to have it done the right way. So you get to work with renowned practice consultants in our startup new development program, Robbie Grayson and Donna Walker. I cannot say enough about them not just because they are on our team, but they are beautifully intelligent women with exponential experience in the space. And again, more importantly, we've done this opening up 100 practices. So you get to work with them. A little bit about the program is it's six months. It's about 21 lessons that are taught live every week with informative coaching calls that are recorded and shared immediately after each session. You're going to go over your vision, your mission, Why do you want to do this? Your startup costs, your forecasting calculator, creating your five-year performa. There's over 100 downloadable assets. There's job descriptions. There's talking about your business plan, your bank loan. I could go on and on, but I just went through those three phases with you guys. So we are going to cover in the six-month program all of the components within that six months and within all of those three phases so that you have the best new practice in the aesthetic space that you want, again, that you've dreamt of. So if this is you 
We only enrolled 10 applicants. I think we are down to the wire here, but I did want to share it with you guys. The next class is going to start on February 20th. We have a couple spots left. So you can fill out an application. This is application only at apexplatform.com. One of our team members will call you immediately to get to know you, understand you, learn about your goals, learn about your desires, learn about your why. So thank you so much. I hope that you found this valuable. If someone if, you know, can benefit from this podcast, I do invite you to please share it with them. Thank you again for all your love, your support, your kind words. You allow us to continue to grow and elevate and evolve every day here at Apex Platform. And if you'd like to stay up to date with all of our, again, upcoming events, our platform releases, our industry news, please subscribe to our newsletter and our podcast in the link in our bio. And don't forget to follow us on all of our social media channels, Terry Ross Consulting and Apex Platform. Thanks you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode of In Touch with Terry. Ciao. Thanks for listening to In Touch with Terry. We invite you to schedule a discovery call with our Apex team. The link to apexplatform.com can be found in the show notes. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode of In Touch with Terry.